All right. What I've done, I've taken two candy cane wreaths or two candy cane frames from the Dollar Tree and I've put them together with zip ties. Then I took 12, I think it's 12, yeah, 12 uh, tinsel ties and put them on the two middle bars all around, okay? And I have 21 inch mesh. So we're gonna do 12 inch poops, okay? I'm sorry for the delay, guys. You know, you think you have it all figured out, you follow the directions. <laughs> I'm not doing so well, Susan. I need a, like a minute to regroup here. That was horrible. Oh my gosh. Here I was trying to set a record and go live twice in one day, and it did not go smooth. So, here we are. All right. Now I'm gonna straighten out the poofs. Again, it's 21 inch mesh, and we're doing 12 inch poofs. making a gnome swag out of this baby. Where we at? Okay. So how's your day going? <laughs> I wanted this, and I don't know if you were on this morning, but I made a, a sign to go with this wreath. And I did a live on um, Fabulously Fine Designers making the sign. And it's going to go with these two gnomes that I made. There's the little girl. And there's the boy. Well, it wasn't Facebook. I was trying to go on YouTube and I was following all the directions. So, I don't know. So just for that, I decided to go here. I showed it, huh? <laughs> uh. Now I know that this is probably not gonna cover the frame, but that should not be there. That's okay because with everything I'm going to be putting on this, it's going to cover it. It's going to look pretty. And then we'll add a bow or two. And we'll add some tails. Where's my, where's my designers? They lost me. They couldn't find me. I told them I was gone here instead. This is a mesh cheese. I know, I've had this a long time. But I love this color. And I thought it would really accentuate the sign and everything else. You don't know me, I like doing something different. Nobody else feels like talking today? Come on, hit me with some questions. Tell us what it's like in your neck of the woods. What's the weather like? Good, bad, ugly? What? Talk to me. Get my mind off YouTube right now. <laughs> Isn't that a pretty color? And those tinsel ties stand out so pretty with the blue. Did y'all catch my sign this morning on Facebook? I 
keep some of this on there. I don't have to do it like everybody else, right? So let's do that. I may cut it off, but who knows? Let's just leave it on there. You never know today. Well, there, Cindy. This is the sign I made this morning on my live. I actually made it on Fabulously Fine Designers. I went live on that and I showed you how to, how to put it all together. I had my vinyl cutter cut the, the three, four colors. We lost the mustache. I had to go back and make another one. So, all right. So here we have our two candy cane frames. All right. I know you're still seeing a little bit of the frame, but you're not going to when we're done. All right. So what I did was I took this snowball mesh and I cut a 10 by 10 inch piece. All right, and I'm going to walk up the middle, and I'm going to put one of these in each one of the zip ties, the tinsel ties, actually. Now, my whole idea behind this one was to make it so it would last the winter with the snow and also carry me into Valentine's. So I wouldn't have to take it down right away. So that's the reason for the snowball mesh. I want it to make it look snowy. If you don't mind spreading the love, I'd really appreciate it. I just wanted a little bit of, of fluff in there. I'd love to see how they make this snowball mesh. I think that would be interesting, don't you? And like I said, we're going to add tails. I cut my tails at 13 inches. So if you didn't see me over at Fabulously Fine Designers, go over and check it out. You can watch me mess up the sign, then fix it. <laughs> Deborah, how are ya? We had trouble on YouTube, so we're over here. I don't know why it wouldn't let me go live. I did it the other day. I'll keep trying. I'm not gonna let it beat me. So we went to plan B today. So we've got 21 inch mesh. I put 12 zip ties on here. I went for the middle bar and I put the zip tie or put the tinsel ties between the two. So I wrapped around the two in the middle. All right. Then we've got snowball mesh that's 10 by 10 square. We're just ruffling up the middle. We're putting it in there just to give it a little pop of color. Okay. Mainly make it look snowy. And it'll also, after everything's done, it'll help disguise the frame too. Because a little bit of that was showing. But I knew that when I decided to do it this way. That's why I'm going the extra mile of covering it up. And I left a little bit hanging down the bottom here. 
Not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. But everybody always cuts it off. So let's see if we can make something out of it. Use it to our advantage. If I had to do it all over again, Cindy, I probably would have went with the Cricut. But I went with the Brother Scan and Cut because of the fact that um, Brother also made my embroidery ma machine. So I kind of wanted it to be compatible. So that's why I went with it. Um, I bought it from a dealer in Texas. So he, it was free shipping and didn't charge tax. So um, I do like it. It's just, it's very new and there's not a whole lot of um, videos out there on it. So it's, everything's been kind of like trial and error. I've kind of taught myself. Um, so I'm learning. There's some really great support groups on Facebook for either one. All right, so there we are so far. 12 inch poofs, 10 inch by 10 inch squares. Okay. Now we're gonna put our tails on. Now I did this on purpose. Because the base was the turquoise, I wanted the tails just to be in the red and white. See? Thank you, dear. I appreciate it, Don. Now I may leave this one empty down here because I think I'm going to put my bow here. Nice big old juicy fat bow. So I don't know what happened, Don. I gave up after 20 minutes. I had had enough. And just to recap, we've got um, the two candy canes put together. We only have the tinsel tie in the center two. So we've got 12 tinsel ties. Our poofs were 12 inches. And our snowball mesh was 10 inches. And our tails are at 13 inches. I purposely went with the two red colors because I wanted them to stand out against the turquoise. Now when I was on Fabulously Fine Designers Live today and I showed making the sign, I also shared information about our private group. So if you didn't see it, you might want to go back and check it. And if you're not a member of our um, Fabulously Fine Designer community, you might want to sign up. We also have our private group, which is paid, a paid group. And that is um, Team of Dream Designers. And there are eight of us. Dawn is one. Myself, Carla, Rita, Tequila, Lavon, Sandy, and um, Susan. We all have our own pages. We started a private group because we wanted to have some fun and share when we did it. So, if you're interested in that, let me know. We actually did these gnomes on our in our private group. Don had a gnome sign and I made a sign while we were on. I mean, I made a gnome to match her sign. So we share a lot on there that we don't share on our regular pages. So you might want to check it out. Even Lori Jacobs 
is a member of our private group. So how about that? So you get eight designers for the price of one. And it's not like on here. On here, you're just typing and I'm talking. We actually go on a Zoom call on zoom.com. We set up a meeting, we give you the code, you come in, you say hi to us, we say hi to you. We can hear everything you're saying. And we have a lot of fun. Especially because we're all live, live in our home. And I don't know if you know it, but I have seven Yorkies. So when someone else's dog in their house starts barking, <laughs> then all my dogs start barking. <laughs> so it gets quite comical. We do bows, we do wreaths, we do swags, we do signs, we do painting. You name it, we covered it. And we come up with the ideas. It's just a fun night of crafting. And I'm so glad that I have these women in my life. We've met new, new um, group members, and we all have a great time. Let's turn it this way. So do you, any of you have any questions? There you go. Don put a link on it for us. If you're interested. Don did a beautiful um, window frame wreath swag Christmas decoration type thing the other night last Friday night and then Carla made some big fat juicy bows on the live the other night you can ask questions we can stop and answer just a lot of fun. And even Lori's in our group. Couldn't ask for more. And what's nice, we go live two times a week. Friday night and Monday night. It's recorded. So if you joined up, you'd have access to all the old recordings. So Learn how to make this, learn how to make this. Um, we did decals, lots of fun. What are some of the things you guys like to make? You want making any crafts for Christmas? Any wreaths? Do you wreath? Do you craft? What do you do? Share it with us. This feels like paper on this, but it's stronger. All right, there's what we got so far. Leave this one off. Now, let's see. Now, when I attach something like this, I always put a little piece of felt and I sandwich it between, you know, put the tinsel tie in the middle and then attach it to the fabric. So I'm thinking my girl is going to go up there. But I may have to push her down in here some. And I think my boy, and afterwards I thought I should have had him kissing. That would have been cute, right? And I think my boy is going to go down here. And then I think my sign is going to go in there. Let's look at this a minute. Or we can bring the sign down here have the girl there and the boy here. So they're close. And then down here put a big fat juicy bow. I have 
Snowflakes, if we need snowflakes. I think we need some snowflakes. And I have tubing if we need tubing. So let's just put these on. And these tinsel ties are awesome because they're so strong. I get mine either at Hobby or not Hobby Lobby, um, Craft Outlet. Um, I've also gotten them at Sims. I've also gotten them at Trendy Tree. I made the gnome, Cindy. And we actually made them in our private group. I showed everybody how to make them. This is a limited edition. This was only one of three sets that I made. I found this fabric and I wanted one for myself and I just sold the last pair last week. And I do have other gnomes. They are listed in my Etsy shop and I do have the link in the comments. So feel free to go on. I have carolers I made and they're on my YouTube channel too. Um, how I made those with the Dollar Tree tree skirts. So they're on there. So you let me know if you can't find them. But I do not have this color. I'm totally out of this color tried finding it and I can't find the fabric so there were only three sets made all right so there's that now let's put our girl on I think we're going to put her up here. And to me, it's so much easier to work your tinsel ties through your base than it is a pipe cleaner. It's a lot sturdier. There we go. Well, Cindy, join our group. $19.95 a month. You can quit at any time. And right there, it's in the group. I showed you exactly how to make it. What materials you needed. I don't use the Dollar Tree cones. I have my own supplier that I get them. I like his better but you can use the Dollar Tree cones. Heck, I'd even send you the pattern. It's real easy to make it yourself though. And like I said, it's on our page. We show you all kinds of things. We even made decals and they were fun. All right, so now we need to put the guy on. I think I'm just gonna, yeah, right here. Look at that, easy access again with these tinsel ties. Ooh, I just love them. Or you can buy one of the gnomes out of my shop lot in there. I got short ones, tall ones. I just made carolers. And boy, did they turn out cute. I'm actually in the process of putting faces on them. And I'm not good at 
painting small faces. So I'm using my, my scan and cut to make the faces. And they look so professional. One set of these went out to Utah, and I think the other one went out near Las Vegas. One of the girls that I met at the wreath makers, or the wreath gala up in Rochester. She got the last set. All right, let me look. Sometimes you have to just stand back and look a little bit. Do the shake test. It's not going anywhere. See the little bells on their head? All right. Let's let's do a bow. What do you think? Do the bow next. Now what one am I gonna use? Let's use this. Get some more tinsel tie. This one was from Sims. Its description is rope, tinsel pine, 26 inches. first against the yeah all right let's start with that one first thank you and I think I'm gonna do like a 16 inch tail wow. we're going big go big or go home now I was wondering if I wanted to add another bow to this, another color. <laughs> Why not? It's mine. Do it. I'm going to make that 18. I got lost. Kicked me off. Now I'm back. So spread the love for me if you wouldn't mind. Now I need a little. Hello. Were you on earlier? I couldn't get on YouTube. I got kicked off me though. I am not giving up. I've been on twice today. Well, no, this is the third time. I'm on three times. They always say third time's charm, right? So I'm back. I was working on the bow and realized you were all gone. Well, hi, Angie. Welcome from the UK. Do you have computer glitches over there like we have over here? <laughs> Today has not been my day, but I'm not going to let it beat me. I'm going to keep on keeping on. I am bound and determined 
to do it. You guys missed half of my bow, but that's okay. We're back. Now, I'm, I'm thinking I want a little bit of blue on the out, outer edge here, so I went and made myself a little bow to stick in here because I'm not going to take it all apart. Well, thank you. We love having you. Hi, Donna. This is take two. <laughs> we're, we're on again. On again, off again. We had trouble with my sign this morning. Then we were supposed to go on YouTube. Couldn't get on YouTube. Then we got kicked off of Mevo. But we're back. So welcome. Thank you, darling. Appreciate it. Doesn't that look pretty with just that little pop of blue in there? Turquoise. Yeah. Okay, come on now. There we go. All right. Now, for those of you just joining, this is what we did. We used two candy cane frames with some tinsel ties just in the middle two bars at every cross, cross, cross bar. Okay, and then we did 21 inch mesh, 12 inch poofs. Then we added to each section a 10 by 10 inch piece of snowball mesh. Then we added on top of that 13 inch tails. Now I did a live this morning on our community group, uh, Fabulously Fine Designers. I showed you how to make the sign. He lost some of his mustache, so I had to finish it up off screen. Thank you. Then I, I put these on in the sign. I made these, they're in my Etsy shop. Um, if you're on our private group, uh, we show you how to make them too. So, this is getting, and this was the only, this was a limited edition. I only had three sets of these and this is the last set. Thank you. All right, so now we're gonna put our bow on right here. And then we'll see if we need some snowflakes. The whole design of this was so that I could leave it up through winter and then even possibly leave it up till uh, Valentine's Day. I got the, I made the sign on my scan and cut the design came from a lady on YouTube, on uh, Etsy, which I have to send her a picture and show her what we did with her sign. Thank you. Well, were you on earlier, Angie? <laughs> I was supposed to go live on YouTube. I tried that for 20 minutes. That didn't work. So then I went live on Facebook, and when I went live on Facebook, as I was making the bow, it cut me off. The nerve of Facebook cut me off. I want to tie down that extra piece of mesh that was loose, and I left a bunch of mesh at the bottom just because I wanted something for the... Oh, you'll, you'll do fine. See, I left some mesh on the bottom because I kind of wanted it to just peek out from in, underneath my bow, so I didn't cut it. All right, so now we got our bow on. It's kind of juicy, I think. Now, 
I've got to fish out some of this snowball mesh because it's not where it's supposed to be. So we got to make it visible. It got a little tucked in. So I want it to look kind of snowball-y. Does that make sense? I can actually say I've been on live three times today now. <laughs> I went on to show you how to make the sign this morning and talk about our group, see if anybody had any questions about our private group. And then I went and ran some errands and came home and finished the sign and went to go live and couldn't. So here I am again. Glad you found me. Actually, I have more the second time than we had the first time. <laughs> so, but see, I told everybody, I know it, you could see a little bit of the, the base through the 21 inch mesh, but I told everybody by the time I got done, you're not even going to see it. And you don't. So, I'm just trying to redistribute some of the m snowball mesh that got a little tucked down in there. Now, I want to see if we need any snowflakes. May not. They may be too. I don't know. What do you think? Does it need some? big snowflakes in there or not. What do you think? Well, Angela, I could do a one night of booze if you want. I do need snow. Okay, now if I'm adding snowflakes, do I need any, where I don't have snowflakes, do I put some tubing? That's question number two. Alright, so let's just do one up and put it where we don't have snowflakes. Ooh, that looks pretty. All right. I know you do. We aim to please, girlfriend. Levon's one of our designers in our design group, our private one. If you didn't see me on Fabulously Fine Designers this morning, you should go back and look, because that's where I made the sign. All right, let's put this baby right here. See, I still have a lot of tinsel tie here to work with. So I cut my tinsel ties at 12 inches. I don't use the pipe cleaners. I don't, I prefer not to use the pipe cleaners. We're jacking it up, Levon. It needs jacked up. She loves it when I say that. Time to jack it up, girly. And then, okay, one, two, three. We've got our triangle, which is very important. And maybe we'll just put another one here of the tubing, and another one over here, and another one over there. And we'll have five. 
It's always good to do it in, in numbers, odd numbers. Jacking it, baby. We're jacking it up. And I don't think this one's going to be for sale. I ended up, my aunt lives in a retirement community, and she wanted a bunch of my wreaths. So I took down a bunch. She sold all but three. And uh, I took a lot of mine down, so they're all sold. So now I got nothing for my house. So we gotta make this work. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we're jacking. should have put some wire in this and made some like curly things. I could still do it. And see, I don't measure my tinsel tie. I mean my deco stuff. Okay, one, two. Put one over here. There, one there. Where else? I'm just looking. I think I'll put them where I don't have a snowflake. Because there's two more. So then I'd still be at an odd number. Well, I'm jacking, baby. We gotta spice it up. Oh yeah. We is looking good. I'm gonna turn it around here. See how that mesh just kind of holds that up and puts a little spice of color under there? Oh yeah. Jingle, jingle. We'll put one right there. All right. That didn't look right. I'm gonna cut this off a little. I think 13 is too big for right there. So we're gonna take off about an inch. Make them into a 12. That's just a little bit too big. There. All right, so we're gonna cut off about an inch like in the 13. 12 would have been better. But it's better to have too much so you can take some off rather than not have enough. Right? Oh, we got this. We're only talking about one now. We're not talking about two yet. Or you mean in the dogs? Because <laughs> the one is not eating. She wants to be hand fed. Ay, ay, ay. She 
He's driving me insane. Gave her a hamburger this morning. She was not sure she wanted that. We're talking about one daughter-in-law right now. And we're talking about possibly two puppies pregnant. Ugh. I'm liking the 12 inch better. This is just too long. That's better. It's getting kind of floppy in there. Now the lights are flickering. Watch the electricity go out. After all, I've been through today with this. I even added a little um, glitter to the sign. Make it look like it was snowed on. Ugh. All right. I even had these. I didn't know if these would look better. Which do you think? The silver or the white snowflake? Talk to me, Levon. If I use the silver, it kind of matches that. But I don't know if it goes with the white. What do you think? I'm liking that better. The sign just has four little gnomes on it, and it says love, because I love gnomes. And I figured if I decorated it up with gnomes and snowflakes, and because it says love on it, I could even have this up till Valentine's Day. Did you know Valentine's Day is my favorite holiday? Not Christmas, Valentine's Day. The time I like to tell my family that I love them. I know I can do that all year long, but I'm a romantic at heart. So we're trimming off about an inch because 13 just felt too big. It's too taily. When I did the sign on my on the group live today, what I was trying to show everybody was how much goes into the prep on a wreath before you even see us. Because a lot of times when we're doing it, we don't have the, we have a piece that we want to change, so we run out and we get that, and the sign, I made the sign. There's a lot of work that goes into doing what we do. And everybody usually just sees everything displayed and what we're going to make. They don't see a lot of the background, what we did before we went on our live. So that's why I went on today to give you guys a little peek at some of the behind the scenes stuff. Because people don't understand why you why you have to charge what you have to charge for your wreath. But by the time you spend a whole day prepping, come on, there's a lot of time involved. Like in our groups, everybody was like, well, 
you're charging for a group? Well, yeah, because we're giving you our expertise and you're talking to us face to face, not typing on a computer. So. All right, there we go. All right, now you need to decide whether we go with silver snowflakes or just the plain white snowflakes. That's a special time. Can you see the sign, Donna? All right, what I'll do is I'll put one on here. Yes, you do. Put a silver one on here, and then you tell me if we go silver or if we go white. I, I'm thinking the silver looks better too, Angie. What do you think? And believe it or not, there's two different snowflakes in here. So, this one has a different edge than that one and you know no two snowflakes are alike so maybe I'll save that one for the top because that's different and then I'll put one like that down there Turn it off it has a nice little hook up there hook it right on. Get our mesh up there. Our snowball mesh. All right. And then we'll put our other snowflake down here. I think that looks better because you have a little bit of gray in the sign and then we I added silver that I didn't put on my tails so I think that's better yeah I think you're right but we have to have extra because you got to try sometimes your design looks good when you're thinking about it but then when it gets time to doing it okay we're done what do you think oops sorry I had it too high didn't I I may end up cutting this I don't know I think we got a winner then we got snowflakes. It doesn't resemble Christmas. It's just snowflakes and gnomes. I think we're good. Oh, three times today. This is crazy. Now I got all the cleanup. some of the white with the red. guys we are done <sighs> I'm exhausted <laughs>
This has been a heck of a day, let me tell you. I'm done. Right? All right, I'll take it upside upstairs, take a picture, and then I'll attempt to edit the videos and put the two together. I haven't had much luck with that lately, but I will try because eventually it's got to work. Eventually it has to work. All right, guys, I thank you for stopping back if you were on the first live. <laughs> if you were searching for me on YouTube, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened, but you found me now, and I'll try and get it all together and, and uh, post it on YouTube. It'll be minus some of the bow because of my Mevo, and I don't know, I'm probably still sitting out there in space somewhere with YouTube, so I don't know, I don't know what's happening, all I know is I'm done <laughs> for the day, oh thank you. All right, guys, I'm going to say goodbye, clean up my mess, because I got a class in here tomorrow night, so I got to clean it up and get ready for class, and feed some pups, and decide what I'm having for dinner. You know how that goes. Life doesn't stop. All right, I appreciate you hanging out with me, and if you didn't see how I made the sign, Go to Fabulously Fine Designers, look it up, and watch. And if you're interested in joining our group, we'd love to have you. It's a lot of fun. We enjoy it. All right, guys. Have a good evening, and thank you.